Welcome guys, today I am going to be reviewing the Fox Racing Ranger Fire Mountain Bike Gloves. These are for winter riding, uh, so they're quite a snug warm glove. Uh, I got these for Christmas for my lovely wife, so there's a, here's our review. Let's go and test them out, shall we? Whee! So my first observation with these Fox gloves is the sizing. Now I've been mountain biking for a long time and I've always found that Fox racing stuff always comes up small, kind of like they're anticipating that fatties aren't riding a bike. Uh, I mean, over in the passport Fox uh, shorts, jerseys, can never get into them. Even when I wasn't so big. Uh, they're just designed for racing whippets really, uh, rather than, uh, it's more trendy rather than functional for bigger bikers. And the gloves are no exception. I knew I was getting these gloves for Christmas, so I picked a size, knowing that they came up small, and uh, they are still a very snug fit. So I'll tell you what size they are when I take them off, but uh, it wouldn't have mattered really what size I get, it would have been wrong anyway, but uh, they are a snug fit. For about the first 15 minutes, I was getting tingles in my hand where they're quite tight, but they are a thick glove, so they are designed to be uh, tighter on your hand just to keep you nice and snug. But that has alleviated, I don't know if they stretched a little or whatever, but it's not so bad now and the tingling sensation is gone. Thank you, uh, which is uh, very pleasant indeed. But uh, one thing I do like, because they are quite still a snug fit on my hand, they're not long. And there's one thing I don't like about a glove is when they've got long extensions off the end of your finger, which flap about and get in the way. So I'm pleased to report these don't have that. Now that they've sort of bedded in a little bit, the fit is great actually. And uh, they are quite toasty. So I certainly think they'd be better off suited uh, for their designed purpose, which is winter riding, because in the summer, they're gonna get hot fast. So I've been testing these uh, Fox uh, winter gloves for about a week now, just a little bit less. I've had a few, uh, two or three bike rides under my belt. And uh, today's ride, it's a bit soggy, uh, as is normally the case around here, but I have got an observation on these gloves. On the thumb and on the fingers and on this side, you've got this really grippy material. Uh, which is excellent, uh, obviously, if you need to grab the anchors quickly or anything like that. However, when they get wet, they are like ice. So don't rely on them if you, uh, you've got to really make sure you've got a proper grip of those, uh, that brake lever when you're trying to pull it when they're wet, because they will slip off. Uh, so a bit of a, I don't really know if I can call it a design flaw, because they are really grippy. But when they get wet, maybe they need some dimples or something on it. I don't know, but... Uh, so far really that's my only criticism because now they've stretched a little bit don't even know i've got them on which is what i want because i don't like wearing gloves really but sometimes you just gotta okay so i've now been riding these gloves now for probably three or four weeks uh it's probably about three weeks now but i've been riding these on all terrains in all weathers so i feel i've got a pretty good grasp of how they sort of hand up uh, sorry handle it and uh I gotta say, it is a nice pair of gloves. Um, I have got a couple of gripes. Stay there. Um, they're really hard to get on and off. I mean, now, I know they're sort of like uh, rough weather gloves. So obviously you don't want them coming, uh, coming off when you don't want them to come off. Uh, and you don't want water to go in there either and all that kind of stuff. So it's good in a way that they're hard to get off. But uh, it is a bit of a bind if you have to keep taking them on and off. Perhaps if you're making a video or something like that, which you wouldn't normally be doing, of course. So you can't really hold that against it. And I like actually now that I've got used to it, the snug fit that they give. Uh, it feels nice and secure uh, and it really keeps that warmth in there, which is wicked because it's been freezing lately. Um, I have got a, one, my main gripe, I have to say, uh, other than the slippery pads, which are really grippy now, but slippery when they get wet. Um, but I don't know if you can see, it's got little membranes on the end of the uh, forefinger there and also on the end of the thumb there. Now I believe this is so that you can operate your phone when you're wearing it, but uh, it doesn't work. I could sit there all day trying to get my phone to respond. It doesn't do anything, so that's absolutely useless. Um, so overall, nice pair of gloves. If you need something warm and you're not gonna keep stopping and taking them off and you don't wanna keep getting your phone out, uh, then it's a great pair of gloves. They will certainly keep your hands warm, um, but you wouldn't really want to wear them in the summer because you definitely would get too warm. And like I say, if you're going to have to keep taking your gloves on and off for whatever reason, not ideal because they're a bit of a pain to get on and off. Anyway, hope you found that useful. 
uh, stay tuned for more review videos this week this week uh, this year and uh, if there's anything you'd like to see reviewed let me know and stick it in the comments but uh, thanks for watching do a subscribe and i will see you in the next one